right, putting a little video out here because I think I figured out the maintenance reminders that keep showing up on my Garmin. Um, so, basically when I start the motor up, I got no maintenance reminders showing up here on the Yamaha display, but they still show up um, on the Garmin as an active alert. So if I go here and I click the little warning sign and I go into my warnings, I got all these optional standard maintenance reports showing up and they go away while I can clear them. Okay. I can clear them except for these two. Okay, so, but if I go in here and I turn off the ignition and then I hit clear warning manager now they go away okay so they're gone so anyways let's say you're you're in your your um, sonar charts whatever you know time to start the motor and turn this on As soon as it turns on, I get an optional maintenance alarm. I get a standard maintenance alarm. So I gotta keep clicking through this. And I haven't been able to figure out how to get the maintenance and standard alarms to stop displaying here. They don't display over here. So if I go in here, let me show you what's going on. Um, it's under device set. under information maintenance reminders <clears throat> they're they've all been reset so I go in here I hit reset all okay these are all reset I go and shut the ignition off turn the ignition on Boom, it's back. So I'm using the J1939 um, port on the back of the Garmin, which connects into the Yamaha um, command link bus. So that's a bit of information. And I'll put some descriptions down in regards to the model numbers of what I have here. But um, I found something that I think is going to solve it. So let's try. I'm gonna go in here. Um, here, I'm gonna go hit home. I'm gonna go under vessel, and I've you know I spend most of my time in engines and engines and fuel, but I've never really pulled this up because why would I have a duplicate of that? But what I found in here under options is that there are maintenance reminders configured in here too, and you can see that they're not reset. Okay, but they're reset over here. So I'm going to reset all these to zero. Okay, hit back, hit close. Okay, I'm going to go pretend I'm fishing. Charn up. Go to shut the motor off. Go to start the motor. you know the alarms are gone now so it seems that maintenance reminders that were originally configured on the Yamaha gauge those configurations made it over to the Garmin however when I reset the maintenance reminders on the Yamaha that reset is not actually occurring on the Garmin so there's a little bit of a, call it a software defect. So there you go. The alarms are fixed. So happy. I've been fighting this for, well, 171, no, 130 hours, according to one reminder and another 130, uh, uh, you know, basically hundreds of hours, it seems, of beeping 
um, and I think I finally figured it out. So, just for safety sakes, turn this off. connection it's okay it's booting up fix my display So now I'll turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition on. The ignition's on, no warnings. Solve the problem. So the moral of the story is if you got maintenance reminders on your gauge, you have to go into your Garmin, go under vessel. Click on Yamaha, Options, Information, Maintenance Reminders, and you have to reset them in here. It's very similar, you have to reset these two. Information, Maintenance Reminder, reset these two. So anyways, there's some differences here. I've got different reminders set over here than set over here. I don't know. There's more to be done with playing around, but... At the end of the day, I figured out how to shut off the beeping. I use this gauge here, um, you know, as my notifications. Plus, I write my hours down. I mean, I don't need a reminder. Um, but anyways, there you go. I hope that helps you out. So, and like I said, this is using the J1939 connection from the Yamaha over to the Garmin directly. It's a plug you can buy on Amazon for like 40 bucks. I know there's another alternative of converting NMEA 2000, uh, or sorry, com converting command link from the Yamaha to NMEA 2000, which would go through the 2000 bus into the Garmin to get the gauge display. The 1939 connector does something similar for probably a tenth the cost, um, with just buying a simple cord. Plug in. I'll put that down in the description, um, the model number to get the cord. But um, there you go. I've been dealing with this for a year, so figured I would put up a video to show other folks. All right, hope you liked it. Thanks.